I've just added the groundbreaking Flux image models into ZimWriter. You can start using them right now. There's Flux Pro, Flux Dev, Flux Schnell, and then Flux Real, uh, Realism or Realistic, something like that. <laughs> you can use them inside of ZimWriter right now. There's four main benefits. And if you've used Stable Diffusion in the past, you have to hear this. First of all, Flux Dev and Flux Schnell are 100% uncensored. So there's no more blurry images. There's no more restricted images. You can generate images to your heart content, to your heart's content, and you won't get blurred images. Also, hands are incredible. They're not always 100% perfect, but they're pretty darn good compared to Stable Diffusion. It's almost like mid-journey quality. So the quality is insane, and the price point is the same price or cheaper than Stable Diffusion. So this is like a, a total win-win right here. It also handles text very well. If you have some text that shows up in your images, it will usually be very close to being accurate. So let me show you the results, and then you can start uh, using it yourself inside of ZimWriter. So here are some example articles I wrote. This is now these were all using Flux Dev, and the quality is like fantastic. That's stuff that you cannot get out of Stable Diffusion. Look at this. Fantastic images right here. Some safety gear. Look at that stuff. Let's go to another article right here. This is, what is it? Safety, a car safety kit. Look at those images. That's YouTube right there. Let's see. Here's another one. Now you can also, you can go inside of ZimWriter and customize your prompts and all that stuff to, to make it more realistic or less realistic or like a cartoon or whatever. All that stuff is customizable inside of ZimWriter. So look, it actually split this into three. This is one image that it made into three all automatically. Very cool. That looks real right there. Smart locks and keyless entry. That's just incredible. So inside of ZimWriter, let's show you how to set this stuff up. You go to the options menu. You gotta make sure, first of all, you're on the latest version, 10.750. You'll go to the options menu and you'll click set up image API. And that will bring up this menu right here. This is connect ZimWriter to an image API. So there's a couple different options. There's a Pexels API that's already existed. There's a stability API. And now we have a foul API and replicate API. I recommend just signing up for foul, but replicate is also an option. All right, this is foul right here. They're one of the creators of this Flux uh, series of models. So you can uh, go on here and there's a link to all this again inside of ZimWriter. You just click this link, a uh, foul dashboard, and it will take you here to create an account and then you can instantly create uh, your keys and all that stuff. So there's a link in here to foul. There's a link in here to replicate. The cool thing about foul is my, my buddy Bharat, he's in India and so he can't tie his credit card to a particular subscription. And so he can't use replicate, but foul allows you to buy credits like OpenAI. And so he can, he can use foul with no problem whatsoever. So I recommend just signing up for foul and then to actually use the model. Once you've added your API key and verified it inside of ZimWriter, you'll go to the bulk writer, for instance, and you'll select your image model. Now, if you've used previous versions of ZimWriter, this is going to be a little bit different. As an example, stable diffusion, where did the styles go? So let's, let me just take a sidetrack right here now and show you if we click stable diffusion, there's an O button where you can configure the options. So here's the style for Stable Diffusion. Some of these models don't have styles, like Flux uh, Schnell does not have styles or different settings to configure, but Flux Dev might. So you might want to configure some of these. A lot of times you don't have to, you don't really have to mess with this stuff. But F, F now stands for FAL. If you've added the FAL, R stands for Replicate, S is uh, Stability AI, these are OpenAI and this is Pexels. Pretty easy to, to figure out and use. You can use these image models all over ZimWriter, the Bulk Writer, the FCR Writer, the Penny Arcade. And you can also use them in the, let's see, the Bulk Image Generator, which is really cool. You can put in all your different blog post titles or blog post URLs, load up your different prompt that you want uh, them to use, and then choose your different, uh, your image model. So we can say, let's choose Flux Realism, actually the Flux Pro, and we'll set the, uh, the aspect ratio and all that cool stuff. So a lot of options, a lot of power. I'd love to see some samples of what you're generating and how you're using it in your content generation process and workflow. Drop a comment down below. If you like the video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Links to ZimWriter down below. Links to my AI training course down below. Join the Facebook group. There's 13,000 members in there. Whew, that was a lot to say. Hey, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you enjoy all the updates I'm providing you inside of ZimWriter. Good luck with your content generation, and I'll talk to you later.